I recently learned about this uh, <laughs> 3D homebrew Game Boy Advance game by 3D Sage called 3D Snow Tank. We need you, Tank. Clear snow. So I'm, I'm just checking out for the first time. So I saw a screenshot, and then I loaded up a video clip, and it absolutely, absolutely blew my mind. Now, oh my gosh, he plays a little tank. <laughs> this 3D engine is so good. So the goal in here is to uh, clear this village, clear this city of uh, these blocks of snow, uh, and also uh, clear the uh, snow on the ground. Great job, Tank. Go faster. It's got cutscenes. Oh my gosh. Uh, there's no music, uh, FYI. No sound effects uh, that I could tell. Yeah. And it's just uh, drive around with the controls and uh, B button to shoot. So the reason I wanted to check this, the number one reason I wanted to check this out is because I, I absolutely love 3D games. I love uh, Doom, the original Doom from 1993. I love uh, uh, Doom Eternal, uh, whatever. First person shooters, action first person shooters are so much fun. The, uh, and I wish there was some good ones for the Game Boy. Uh, not even action first person shooters. I just love the idea of first person games. Uh, but the problem is the original Game Boy well, I mean, there's a few problems. <laughs> One of the big problems is, you know, it's a slow processor. It's a very small screen. It can be hard to see what's going on. And uh, it's not well, not well uh, adept at, uh, it wouldn't be good. A, um, a first person, action, action based first person shooter game. Ooh, I don't think, honestly, I don't think it would be enjoyable to play. Um, and so uh, I'd love to think of an idea that, uh, you know, a 3D game or first person game that would be better suited for the a system, like something like the original Game Boy. And I don't know, I spent some time thinking about ideas, uh, you know, something turn based, maybe an RPG. Uh, I love the idea of Faceball, Faceball 2000 for the original Game Boy. So, you know, because there's nice, nice, simple characters, big, round, uh, smiley faces floating around that you need to, uh, need to destroy. And, uh, oh my gosh, there's a lot of snow here. <laughs> oh. Um, but... It really would be better to have, uh, what is it? Mm. I don't think it's a really good, uh, oh, I lost. All right, how do I put this? I want something like a, a, a theme that really fits. So it should be, uh, the player can go at their own pace. Uh, any obstacles. So for a system that doesn't handle a fast paced first person shooter. Um, it would be beneficial to have a game that is a first person game that is your know, player goes at their own pace the there are no enemies attacking you like directly but there are obstacles like maybe you have to move around traps or something so once again the player moves at their own pace uh, maybe turn based i played uh, doom rpg for the original f flip phones oh i just realized there's falling snow man this game is good um, yes, Doom RPG, even Doom RPG, which was a turn-based first-person <laughs> uh, game for cell phones, old flip phones, was a lot of fun, and I thought it was really action-packed, despite it being turn-based. It was cool. I really got into it. Um, something like that would could work well on a Game Boy. Um, but I struggled with what kind of theme a game would have, because I'm not, honestly, I don't think I'm very creative when it comes to designing video games or what would be fun or what would be a, a cool theme. So when I saw this game, oh my gosh, absolutely blew my mind. Clearing the city of snow blocks as a little tank, adorable little tank, is such a perfect idea. You can move around the city at your own speed. I just imagine if there were like trucks 
uh, driving back and forth and you got to dodge them if you accidentally run into a truck you know you lose a life game over uh or lose a life uh, try again um you got to clear the blocks uh oh what else could there be i don't know pits to dodge don't fall in uh, stuff like that yeah so that's why i was so excited to see this it's such a perfect idea for a a 3d game it's fun unique idea player can go at their own pace uh, in this specific implementation, the, the uh, developer does encourage you to go as fast as possible to get a higher score, which once again is fine. Uh, the player can choose to go fast and get a higher score, or just go at their own pace. Really good. Whee! And technically, it's a uh, just a marvel on the uh, the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> <laughs>